welcome to the channel. My name is Janelle. This is my first video on booktube and I'm really excited to have you here. I decided I was going to do the booktube newbie tag. There was a lot of back and forth trying to figure out what the first video should be but I enjoy watching those videos so I thought I would do it myself. Um, so the first question is why did you start this channel? Basically I used to work in a bookstore where the job is talking about books and I loved it so so much and I miss that and I feel like this is a very good digital equivalent. Um, as well as that I discovered booktube during lockdown and I have adored watching it ever since so I just want to be a part of the fun. And then the second question is what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? I think I'm going to discover that as I go. I think every booktuber has something fun and unique they bring to it. That's why there's so many. That's why I don't only watch one booktuber. I watch a plethora um, and all for different reasons. So what I want to bring to the channel, I want to bring joy, laughter and calmness. I want people to be able to come and watch these videos and know that they'll either have a giggle or they'll feel calm and relaxed afterwards. I want to have a positive mental and emotional impact. And then the third question is what am I most excited about in the new channel? Um, I'm really excited to talk to people. I'm excited to give recommendations and get recommendations and buy more books than I should because why not? <laughs> I love chatting with people so I'm really excited to just be a part of this community and get to know everyone. And why do you love reading is question number four. I love reading because it it's an escape. You can go anywhere in a book. I love reading because a book can hold my entire heart and my soul is made up of different books. You know, they can just be a part of you. And I, I love that. I love being able to get lost in them and being able to feel all kinds of different emotions and to grow because of them and to learn. I just, to me, there's nothing quite like it. Nothing at all. Then question five is, what book or series got you into reading? I have been reading since I was very little. The first series I remember reading was by Janet Oak, and it was a young reader series with animals. They all had white covers and then animals on the center, and it was so cute. Um, the first series I remember like obsessively loving was The Boxcar Children. I read that. I read uh, Nancy Drew. Most of my books are in Canada. I live in Northern Ireland, but I'm a Canadian. So majority of my books are in Canada. But, but one that I love to read when I was little is the Little House series. So this is Little House in the Big Woods by Laura Ingalls Wilder. I got this set for Christmas just this past year. So I have one over here in the UK. Um, but I absolutely adored reading about Laura and uh, all the adventures that her and her family went on and then the sub series about her grandmother her mom herself and then her daughter I loved reading those so this is a big like nostalgic hitting point for me for sure I loved watching the show it's my mom's favorite show so yeah it's it's it, it hits hard <laughs> Then the next question, number six, is what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Basically, can we be friends? <laughs> is where is the main question. Like, can we chat? Can we get to know each other? Can we be friends? Um, I'd also probably ask for advice and tips in getting started with a booktube channel, what they have found works for them, what doesn't, and how they plan videos and stuff along those lines. But I just love to be able to have a chat with them. I'm not going to super go into all my different favorite booktubers because I'm planning on doing a completely separate video just chatting about my favorite booktubers and what I love about their content and what makes each of them, you know, unique and what they do that I love. Um, because why not? Like, why not make someone stay, you know? Then, what challenges do I think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Probably planning and, you know, keeping fresh ideas going of videos. Um, I know I really want to do vlogs and I would like to do reviews. I would love to do hauls as often as is responsible. <laughs> but I definitely want to do um, 
vlogs and wrap ups as well so even if you let me know in the comments what kind of videos you like to see the most let me know and I am all for recommendations and then the next question is when did you start reading again I started reading when I was really really little um, when my brother went to school I wanted to learn like my big brother so my mom homeschooled me kindergarten so there's a young age um, I, I don't remember exactly how old I was I know the first ever book I read was from a reading curriculum called Hooked on Phonics and it was this little book about brothers I think playing a game of basketball they were animals though they weren't humans were they were they dogs I, I'm trying to remember um, but it was basically like jump hop hoop you know kind of scenario um, but I was pretty young when I fell in love with reading and where do I read right here <laughs> this is in my library all my books are right over there in my bookcases and I've got books above me as well so at some point I will do um, like a bookcase bookshelf tour um, and I'll see with the setup if there's a way I can integrate books into the background but this is just kind of what works at the moment um, but I love being able to sit here curl up look at my books while reading my books I would also read um, on the couch by the fire or in bed but dominantly it would be here during the summer I would go and read in the woods or read in my backyard um, I tried going to the beach once last summer to read couldn't get into the book could didn't get anything read but I'm also very much a be in the water person when at the water person um, also I took Les Miserables to the beach might not be a beach read might have been the problem <laughs> and then the last question is what types of books do you read I would mainly read historical fiction. I love, love, love historical fiction. Um, mainly set, oh, anytime. Um, <laughs> I would say, you know, Victorian era is probably my favorite time period to read. Um, I also last year got into classics. I started reading classics and have been loving them. So I've been enjoying my journey with those and learning more about them. And I also love reading romances. I had stopped for a little while, but I've gotten back into them. So I'm excited to get caught up in, um, you know, new contemporary romances. But it mainly be those three genres. I'm not into thrillers or horror. Or my imagination cannot differentiate. Um, as well, I typically read pretty late at night. So thrillers are just not it for me. Um, I would like to get into some other genres. I have some books like magical realism books I think would be really cool to read pretty soon just kind of branch out in that aspect so if you have any recommendations let me know or if you have any um, historical fiction classics any of that recommendations do tell me because I just love to shop for books right when I shouldn't um, but yeah on that note that is the end of the tag if there's any other tags you'd like to see me do definitely let me know uh, if you have any ideas video tips book recommendations be sure to leave a comment below and feel free to like and subscribe I have my social media my Instagram link down below as well as my Goodreads I use my Goodreads mainly for rating and keeping track of the books that I read but if you want to see it it'll be there for you as well so thanks so much for watching the video I'll see you soon and take care. Bye.